The Shinken. The Divine Sword has been taken. And I saw two Kamuis this time. There are two Shinken and two Kamuis. But why? Feeling all right, Miss Kanoe? You look rather pale. Maybe that's from, well, because you're tired from peeping into other people's dreams. The Shinken was hidden in the Togakushi Shrine. Apparently, it's been stolen. Huh? Who would have done that? That funny kid from Osaka. It couldn't have been him, could it? I have no idea. Such a strange dream. Two Shinken and two Kamuis. My sister Hinoto. What does it all mean? The sword's physical makeup is quite different than that of ordinary metals. In fact, it bears a close resemblance to organic material. Furthermore, it has the ability to continuously repair and recreate itself, much like the metabolic function of organic life forms. According to our test results, I would have to say that this sword is alive. Indeed, just as I thought. Mr. President, what is this thing? Where did it come from? That's classified information. Continue testing, but first increase security throughout the facility, and put all personnel on alert status. Right. Someday he will come. The one who will take away the Divine Sword. I'm sure of it. Whether he is a dragon of heaven or of earth, he will come. Any changes? Not anything specific. So far his blood pressure and pulse are still normal. Seeing him like this, he looks like he's just a pretty little doll. But from a genetic point of view, he's perfectly human. I heard that you, Mr. President, were the one that named him Nataku. It's the name of a mythological Chinese god. A being with no soul, according to the ancient myth. At birth, he was merely a formless lump of meat. He was then recreated in human form. However, in the end, though he had a human body, it was a body with no soul. The same can be said for this Nataku as well. His body is human, but he has no heart. He lacks emotions. He does not feel sad or feel any pain. He loves no one and hates no one. He is an organism who merely exists. He exists only for one purpose, the end of the world. Apparently, he had a heart attack. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but they said that for now, the worst is over. The doctors mentioned the possibility that he received some kind of strong shock to the chest area, but they aren't sure exactly what caused this. It's hard to imagine that Dad would end up like this. But he'll get better, I'm sure he will. Dad's a strong man, he always has been. Hmm. You're right. He'll get better, no doubt about it. But till then, be sure to let us know if you need anything. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem. Uh, leave it to us.
Emily, you can't blame yourself for what happened. I planned on leaving as soon as I was able to take possession of the Divine Sword. But someone stopped me. If he'd given it to me sooner. Look, I understand how you feel. But all this might be part of your destiny. I remember what the old Stargazer said. The Shinken of Kamui. The Shinken of Kamui will be taken by one of the Seven Angels. And when it appears to Kamui again, the Divine Sword will have changed its shape. I'm not sure what he meant. But I am sure of one thing, whether you like it or not. The final battle has begun, Kamui. The end of the world? The promised day? Is that what you're talking about, Sorata? That's right. The final battle. We're all gathered here for just that purpose. Because we're all members of the Seven Seals. Kamui, I don't remember my parents or even what they looked like. The monk who took me from my home when I was three in accordance with the old Stargazer's predictions once told me that my mom didn't want to give me up. That she held on to me and wouldn't let go. She was crying when I left. She stood there in the rain, crying for a long, long time. Maybe it was a rainy day like this. But I don't remember any of it. <laughs> Point is, without a family, I don't know what it feels like to lose a close relative like you did. But I think I know how heavy the destiny you're carrying on your shoulders must be. I understand, too. At least a small portion of it. Hmm? Who are you? I am your one and only blood relative, Kamui. Blood relative? Yes. In fact, I look a lot like your mother. Duh. Kamui was chasing, managed to escape. I believe it was indeed one of the seven angels that took the Shinken. I too believe that to be the case. Princess Hinoto, one thing I don't understand. The fact that the Divine Sword was hidden in this shrine was known only to you and a few others. Who told them? Even I do not know the answer to that, I'm afraid. I see. Princess Hinoto, there is one more thing I must tell you. Someone was following the angel along with Kamui. Yes, one of the seven seals like you. He is the visitor from Koya. Koya? So one of the seals really was from Koya. Princess, I'll speak with you again later. I'm your mother's younger sister. That means I would be your aunt. My name is Tokiko Magami. You know that Magami was your mother's maiden name, right? No, I don't. I see. My sister Toru passed away without telling you much of anything. But I'm so happy to have finally gotten to meet my nephew like this. If you are my mother's sister, perhaps you know then. Do you know why my mother died? Yes, I do. 
In fact, the reason I came here today is to tell you exactly that. My elder sister, Toru, died in a fire enveloped in flames. Am I right? You see, my sister took her own life. Are you saying she committed suicide? No, there can be only one reason for what she did. My sister died in place of someone else. In place of? Yes, that's right. That is something to be expected from someone of Magami blood. Oh, Magami? Spelled Ma is in truth and Gami is in God? The Magami clan as in the Shadow Sacrifice? Looks like you're not just an ordinary boy. Now tell Kamui what that means. Well, it's like I said. Anyone who's in the Magami clan is a Shadow Sacrifice. Shadow? Sacrifice? That's right. There's an old magic spell that calls for the use of a talisman called a scapegoat doll, which suffers the misfortunes that otherwise would have befallen the one it represents. Shadow sacrifices are living scapegoat dolls. Those of the Magami clan become shadows to those born into nobility or to politicians essential to the government and suffer any misfortune intended for their masters. Who those masters are is classified top secret, but one theory says about half our prime ministers have been under their protection. Your mom must have been protecting someone too. You understand, Kamui? She was a shadow sacrifice. But for whom? Whose place did she take? Hmm? Mm. My sister Toru left home when I was still in junior high school, but before she left, she took me aside and said, I want you to know I'm carrying a certain person's child. This child will someday hold the key to what happens to the world. That child was you, Kamui. That is why my sister burned, taking upon herself all the misfortunes that would have otherwise befallen you in the future. She was your shadow sacrifice. That's... impossible. It's true. But I understand. This is difficult for you because you don't know what you are yet. Kamui, there is one more thing I need to tell you about. Concerning the Shinken that was taken away from you. I don't know where the stolen sword is right now, but someday a Shinken will fall into your hands. What do you mean? There is another divine sword that you are destined to hold. It is foretold that the Shinken of Kamui will be taken by one of the seven angels, and destiny decrees that when it once again appears and reveals itself to Kamui, the divine sword will have changed its shape. Is that what you're talking about? That's right. In other words, two divine swords exist. The one that was taken, and the one that you will later hold. And who knows where that one is? No one. It doesn't exist in this world yet. Huh. Some story. Now it's even more unbelievable. Everything that you've told me, that is. I guess I must fight inside the barrier field. Huh? A barrier field! Someone's put up a barrier field! There! In the direction of the hospital. Kamui, mm -hmm. the other Divine Sword will someday fall into your hands. On that day, we shall meet again. Kamui, wait! I'm going with you! Yes, we shall meet again, Kamui. useless. 
I wonder who sent these paper spell servants after us. Could it have been one of the dragons of Earth, one of the seven angels? But anyway, that was a really marvelous barrier field. I couldn't possibly have made one like that. You're saying that you're... In the same situation as you. You see, I'm one of them, the dragons of heaven. I'm one of the seven seals. Huh? Oh, no! The editorial office! Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. You've got the wrong number. <laughs> no problem. Bye. I'm sorry. It was a pleasure to finally meet you, but I've got to get back to the office right now. Well, I'll be seeing you. Ciao! Please, take my umbrella, won't you? It's really coming down and I wouldn't want you to catch a chill. Well, goodbye again. Seichiro Aoki, editor. What are you doing here? Huh? Kamui. So it's you. What were you doing? Depending on your answer, you just might get out of here alive. Hey, wait a minute. Were you the one that created the barrier field? I take it that you're the visitor from Koya, right? If you know that, Missy, then I figure you must be one of the Seven Seals. Well, it looks like Missy here's on our side. I met another one of the Seven just a few minutes ago. What, another one? I see. So, they're all gathering around now. In fact, we just met someone ourselves. She's Kamui's aunt, one of the Magami clan. Magami? Shadow Sacrifice? Well now, looks like you know this industry pretty well, Missy. So, you one of the great spiritualists from the Sumeragi clan? No, huh? Maybe you're the one from Ise. <laughs> Bingo! Gotcha. Now listen, dude. All of those things that Miss Magami told us, you didn't believe any of it, right? Of course not. Well then, wouldn't you like to hear a more detailed version from someone who knows a whole lot about who you really are? All right, let's have this Missy from Issa be our guide. Your guide to where? You know what I mean. I was told by the old stargazer that there's a dream-seeing princess living underneath the Diet Building. Hmm? Mm. Missy? You're beautiful. Yep, I've decided you're the one. Hmm? I don't know what you mean. Now, Kamui, we'll let that princess give us the rest of the details, okay? Uh. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> you're not warm and friendly, are you? 